Namaste and we are in very very august company in this very special conversation uh, about the future what does the future hold for us with respect to technology where is the world of artificial intelligence going to take this world this physical world forward uh, joining us now is perhaps the one person who we should have a conversation with on this he is perhaps the first international influencer to achieve the triple crown uh by analytica as the global number one fintech artificial intelligence and blockchain influencer but mr spiros markelitz thank you so much we're going to focus on fintech and artificial intelligence today yes. first up thank you thank you for making the time thanks for having me it's a great honor now let me first ask you uh you have dabbled you're a venture capitalist you've dabbled in you've you've set up a lot of companies and you're on the boards of many companies how do you see the current scenario with respect to technology when we res- when we look at artificial intelligence on the one hand and also the fintech market itself let's start from there <clears throat> i believe it's a good very good question and because you know fintech has been around for a long time even before it was called fintech but the uh, banks financial institution caught up with uh, with fintech in many respects so ai gave fintech and the financial industry like a new life so what we see now and going forward uh, we will see new fintech offerings that will differentiate themselves from the big players you know so basically ai artificial intelligence gave those companies and will give those companies new life because it gives them new possibilities we were a generation and that i'd like to count myself as part of the generation which saw technology evolve and evolve within a decade uh but we i i started when there were pcos there were the the first computers and then there were pagers and then technology just boom the mm-hmm. current generation is born into technology the next 5 6 years how do you see this changing because people say that even before you think technology is advanced it's it's moving so fast it's so dynamic how what's your outlook how do you see the next 5 6 years or the decade evolving with respect to technology i think uh, it things uh, advance so quickly as we see in ai and th- which is this just what we see now we don't even know what's in the pipeline or we can guess and i think we will have uh, more social issues than technology will evolve in a way that people will not have to understand it but they will be able to use it you know and and in a way it will give them a fantastic use experience you know from information the translation i mean a, a lot of things will be so personalized so from walking to a store and the, my glasses might tell me hey spirits you can buy this it's all right buy it because we have the budget for it and you still can go on vacation so in some ways this ai agent will make our life much easier better but maybe technology advances so fast not maybe it does that uh, i that the issue will be for governments in order to uh, to make sure that we don't leave people behind as much it's it's a code so somebody is writing this code and it's evolving on its own so yes is it possible to control and put in an inbuilt inbuilt built ai or stand harm is that possible or after some time it's going to spiral out of the I think main code it, itself i think it's going to go spiral out you know even now altman i think i read something about altman says you know they know kind of what to do what what the open ai does you know the algorithm but they don't really know how i mean they know and they don't you know and and that's we're talking now hmm you know so, i mean uh, it's a logical conclusion that eventually not now i don't know when mm-hmm. you will have no clue what it does and why it does it <laughs> i mean that's not something nice to say but i mean i think our audience you know when we speak to people we always have to be to be optimistic which innovation is something positive but of course um, with a filter you know with also showing what could go wrong mm-hmm. because see when we look at platforms you talked about open ai chat gpt some of these platforms there are already cases of hallucinations so it's actually making up things and telling you things and there is a lot of proof doing the rounds here where people have tested this now that's a scary part now how do we deal with this can can those in technology can those who are developing this tech are they going to be able to control this or this is something that we will humanity will have to live with 
I think we probably can control it because uh, eventually that we have some sources, some ChatGPT, uh, large language models that use, uh, uh, derive their data, etc., and the information from a trusted source. But that there will be also sources or platforms that uh, they don't really care much. And, you know, human humans hallucinate in a way. I mean, so to explain to the audience, I mean, basically, uh, hallucination means just... Uh, simplified AI tells you something that it's not true not because it means to be mean or bad but it's just not true it makes sense when you read it but it doesn't make sense if you think about it so in life we also have to filter things and we have to find ways to, to confirm that the, the, the news or the information we get is true I, I guess uh, you know it we will have to figure out, and they, they try very hard to to try to figure it out, how to do mm -hmm. it. But you know, it's, it serves some people to uh, to have AI hallucinating. Besides, sometimes it can be also a creative process. Yeah. You know, sometimes it might give an idea that you haven't thought of. So uh, you you're looking at the positive part of it in terms of I, I'm trying to be a realist here. I'm just yeah. trying to ask you: Is it going to make humanity and society more able, or is it going to make them dumber? Because when you just said Spiros, you can go ahead and you can afford these glasses, you can go ahead and buy it. Uh, is that taking away my own ability to think and rationalize oh. and say, do I really need something? So then is it making me a smarter person or is it making me a dumber person? Not, as a person, will make us dumber. As a human, we will seem more powerful. But it will be make us dumber. And I'll give you also an example. In my generation, we had to learn, you know, to calculate in our head things, you know, simple things, 12 by times 12, whatever, and 144, whatever, but it was easy. It was an Since the youth doesn't have to do it anymore because they do it through the iPhone or calculated, even simple things, probably eight times seven, it's probably hard for them to figure out how much it is. I just give you an example because people can relate to this. Same here, it will make us dumb more just more powerful but it, I don't believe it's gonna make us smarter in the long run because you get lazy you know if uh, if if we had something in our ear that would translate things we say to any language so I, I would not make an effort to learn your language or my language because you know so I think uh, anything that that helps us makes us weaker too True. So if there's a wall, you'll have to climb it, break through it or walk around it. You've got to figure it out. Uh, but when you met PM Modi, I was just about to come to that. When you met PM Modi, what did you gather from him? And what's his vision with AI, fintech and future I know, tech? I, I know I'm, I believe that, uh, I mean, from even before I met him, uh, you know, it's amazing. You know, amazing how India, through his leadership, through his people, evolves you know in a, it's a hard-working society it evolves and and uh, technology is an important part i mean i would have not have been invited otherwise it says i mean it the he's a person uh, and the government the whole government we spoke to the minister of finance and uh, we spoke to many people if you see you sense they want to draw knowledge you know i mean there, there's i mean so how many Top CEOs of tech companies are Indians. It's just amazing. And but it's a country that believes in hard work and believes in change and change towards and technology will be an enabler. I mean, and and Modi, etc. doesn't have to meet me to know this, but it just shows you the mindset of the of the leadership to to just uh, talk to people, um, experts in different fields. And and uh, and try to implement it uh, in a way, you know, that's positive for the country. I was asked one question. I was asked. I won't say by which minister, but there were three ministers present at lunch. I said uh, I talked about regulation, and I said regulation is like you know you have to. It's more art than science. It's like a child. If you tell your ch children not to go out and run and play, sometimes they will come back. They got hurt, like we did. But that's a part of growing. If you if you tell them not to go out and run, then they will not become strong citizens in any in every respect. So we have you know you have to. It's like really. Yeah.